Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog and in today's video I'm going to be talking about all of the lessons that I've learned when I moved out when I was 19. Before I start, just please excuse my voice. I don't know if it sounds off or not, but I just have been having the the sniffles for the last couple days, but regardless, I'm still like in the the zone to to make a video for you guys. For those of you guys who are coming back, welcome back. And then for those of you guys who are just discovering my channel, Welcome, my name is Josh. We make videos here all related to self-improvement, entrepreneurship, pretty much anything in that realm. Uh, as you guys could tell, I have pretty low production in my, uh, in my videos because the actual value that you're getting from the videos is my life experience. I'm not here to make some fancy production video and just have a lot of fluff in between. This is really like my actual life experiences so anyways now that i got that out of the way let's get into it the first lesson i've learned about moving on my own is that once you are on your own no one cares about you literally no one cares about you you're in a new town nobody really knows you you're not established you don't have connections for the most part there's some people who may have different circumstances but for the most part you're lacking the connections you don't know the spots you don't know your way around so it gets lonely there's two things that happen one i just said you get lonely especially if you're younger like me and you decide to move out earlier it's a lot harder to relate to other people your age so when i got here like yes i enjoyed my time but when things got serious and i had to think more about okay i can't just be in this room that i'm renting for six hundred dollars a month and i can't just work in the mall anymore like where do i go from here these were the types of questions i started asking myself and it's a lot harder to relate with other people our age because we're over here trying to take our life serious we want a better future we want to spend our time in a more productive and impactful way and then there's most people our age who just care about what they want to do over the weekend or whatever schoolwork it is that they have to take care of part-time job like nothing <laughs> nothing like life or death feeling in a way even if you do have a friend who's on the same page as you most likely they're not on their own either so it's really hard to find other people to talk to about what we're going through it's really hard to get uh, a solid gauge of advice because there's really not many people who decide to move out at a young age and have like wisdom that they've been able to obtain so uh, that's another thing about being lonely. You don't have much people you can reference from, at least within your within your age bracket. And even if you are able to ask for some advice for someone who's a little bit older, chances are their circumstances were a little bit different. Maybe they moved out after college, they had a smoother start or or something. They moved with their girlfriend, boyfriend. So, so many different factors. Uh, but for the most part, to find someone just like you you moved out on your own. There's not a lot of people you could reference from. So that's another way things get lonely. The second feeling of being in a point in time where nobody cares about you is actually a good feeling. And that is uh, having a fresh start. That's one thing that I like about, liked about moving out on my own. I was able to have a restart, no history, no history of drama, just fresh, clean slate, and you can decide the type of person you want to become. You can decide the type of person uh, that you want to be known as. Decide all those things, how you want to present yourself, how you want to be treated, how you would like to market yourself. You do have some advantages when you're kind of in this like phase where nobody cares about you. So that's lesson one of moving out on your own. When you decide to leave your parents' home or whoever it is and you finally want to be by yourself, there's going to be a period of time where nobody will care about you. It gets lonely, but you do get the advantage and opportunity of being able to redefine, rebrand yourself and uh, try different things, uh, approach life with different angles because you're, you're not necessarily established. The second life lesson that I've learned is actually finances. When I used to live with my mom, for those of you guys who know me, I've always been 
a bit of a hustler in like my high school days. So I loved cleaning shoes for money. I loved flipping sneakers. I loved <laughs> just trading for shits and giggles on Robin Hood. I loved working a lot. I never really had a problem with money because I had little to no expenses. I had a nice little Mustang and that's all I, I worried about. And then when I moved out on my own, man, the expenses were crazy. There's things that I didn't even know that I had to pay for. Just something so simple as buying your own plates, your forks, dish soap, just um, holders for the dish soap, just like a bunch of stuff like the money just adds up like crazy and at least what my first year looked like was a lot of credit card debt I'll tell you that much so that was a really uh, rough lesson like rude awakening for me and that's kind of where I started learning especially just talking to other people who are on their own a lot of them were in uh, credit card debt as well if you decide to move on your own really try to do your best to do a diligent calculation of what everything is going to cost you down to the plates that you decide to buy for your apartment or efficiency a room whatever you decide to move into like you really want to account for everything how much is water going to cost just like all the little things how much money are you going to spend per month on toothpaste dental floss just like the little things because everybody accounts for like okay how much is my my rent how much is my car whatever just like the bigger expenses but in my opinion the more important thing is accounting for the very minuscule expenses that we're not necessarily paying attention to such as eating out and i'm not saying that i have all these things figured out like trust me even though i'm about to be on year three in october being out on my own i am still trying trying to learn these lessons that i'm sharing with you guys like it is so much easier to spend money than it is to earn it i never thought i'd have to spend money but on like condiments so like salt pepper oil like all this stuff adds up so that's one thing to consider and one very valuable lesson i've learned when i decided to move out there's so many hidden and minuscule expenses that we don't necessarily account for and it's always the little details that that matter so that is another lesson i've learned uh moving out at 19. the third lesson i've learned it's not even a a lesson but it's more of like an experience that i've gone through that's really that's really done something to me is getting fired from a job now especially with the way things were going at that time so this was around 2022 i used to work at a car dealership called the collection in coral gables that's where i met a lot of my uh, very good friends that i keep close to me up to this day so it was that job where i worked at i really wanted to uh, move up and stay in there but unfortunately your boy got fired this was the first time where i've i've got a real taste of life because the money just stopped coming in all of a sudden but the bills weren't so that was a really big scare for me i was only 20 years old i lost my job i never thought that would happen and then the bills didn't stop coming in that was a really life-changing moment for me like it gave me like a like a panic attack because not only did i know how it feels to have like everything on the line like i almost did lose everything story for another day but i almost did lose everything and um i guess you could say the valuable lesson that i took away from that is just to never have one stream of income again that was really it for me that's what like uh pushed me into like entrepreneurship and made a vow like you know what no matter what happens to me in, in life i'm always gonna have more than one source of income no matter how little as long as i have something additional i never want to rely on one uh i never want to rely on one single employer i don't ever want to have one stream of income again like i want to have like backup so for those of you guys who know me i do invest in crypto and uh just this month i started my venture into turo so i actually put my audi on the Turo marketplace and the car is not even physically out yet it's still down in the garage 
but it's already been booked and my car note has been covered already. So that is a very big help to me. And then hopefully from there, we just keep getting more bookings and eventually we pay for the insurance and then we make a profit. So that's one avenue of entrepreneurship that I'm getting into. And then just to show you guys, cause I don't know, people, bro, people on the internet are weird and they're gonna be like, oh, well, let's cap, you're lying. Here, let me just pull this up so you know I'm being honest with you guys. So this is a booking from May 10 to May 13, and then my payout is 192.90. And then my other booking is from Saturday, April 27th to Thursday, May 2nd, and that payout is 516.50. So just those two bookings alone, my car note is already covered. I'll either have my car note covered, which reduces my expenses, or it'll keep getting booked and eventually will lead me to a profit and will become essentially another source of income and hopefully I could buy another car and do the same thing. That is, I guess you could say, the next lesson I've, I've really learned from moving out on my own. Never, ever, ever rely on your employer. Always have multiple sources of income, no matter how little it is. Even if you have something like this, like a small YouTube channel, or like you have a, a small TikTok account, because I have some homies that have small TikTok accounts or even small, uh, drop shipping Spotify stores, <laughs> not Spotify, Shopify stores, and they're earning like 400, yeah, I, I think like between like 200 to 400 bucks a month, that's still really good. That could still pay for some monthly expenses. So never, never dismiss anything just because the amount is little. Like you can't go broke making a thin profit. That's, that's what I stand by. Another lesson that I've learned is that it never ends and no one is, is coming to save you. You can choose to be bitter and be sad about your situation or you can decide to to be better and to improve on that so that this apartment that you guys are seeing now i didn't have this before like i didn't you know i wasn't always working for for lucid like this is all of this is still relatively new uh when i first started here in miami i was renting out a room from someone's house that was my my start and I was working two mall jobs. Eventually I got the dealership job at the Gables and I still kept one of my other mall jobs. So I was working two, two jobs. I was working seven days a week. Eventually was able to move into a studio in Kendall. And then fast forward to today, here we are in this um, very spot that I'm very appreciative of. And this is like my first spot that I really decided to make uh, my home. You have to pick up after yourself no matter what happens to you because I've gone through so much guys like just being out here on my own. You literally have to be your own backup. You have to be your own best friend, your own supporter. Like you cannot slow down. I already had the odds stacked against me because I didn't have a plan when I came here. People already thought I was crazy and then the amount of commentary I got from from family they were just telling me like hey like why are you doing this? You don't even have a college education. You should just go back home, live with your mom. They miss you, save your money there so you could have a nest egg, so you could buy a property. Just all the typical advice and that's just not for me. You decide to move out on your own. No one is coming to save you. Nobody cares that you lost your job. Nobody cares that that girl left you. Nobody cares you had to sell your favorite sports car to be able to pay for your bills and still make a living. Nobody cares about all of that. I'm lucky to have really good friends and a really good support system here in Miami, but at the end of the day, like when it comes down to it, nobody is going to go out of their way to help you pick yourself back up. You really have to stomach all of the, the pain and frustration and all of the obstacles that get in your life's way. The last thing that I would say about moving on your own is that with all of these things that are happening to you, with all of the, the pain and suffering, the loneliness, just being on your own, trying to figure things out, so you have no guidance, like all of this stuff that I was telling you guys about, with all that comes just an, an unwavering amount of strength and character if you do not give up on yourself. Like I've gotten to this point in my life where I've already seen so much, 
Like my dad died at a young age. Uh, I already moved on my own. I, I've gotten the, the rough landing of it. Uh, lost my job even though there were bills on the line. Um, stuff like that. I, and the embarrassment of that, like with everyone at that job finding out, like there's so much uh, humiliation I felt from that. Just a bunch of things uh, adding up. Honestly, I'm really not quite scared of anything anymore. Uh, if I lose this job, God forbid, but if I lose this job, okay. I'm a little bit more resourceful than I was last year. You know, uh, I could always sell my car. I've already had the feeling of owning a nice car, so I'm not, I'm not too bound by materialistic possessions. As much as I love them, um, I could live without them. And uh, yeah, even like losing this, uh, if I have to downgrade to something a little bit not as nice, well, I came from a room, so I'm, <laughs> you know, like how much worse can things get? So when you decide to uh, take the leap of faith, take all these risks and, you know, go through the, the rough moments of not having things figured, figured out, you're going to develop so much strength and character. You're going to appreciate everything about life way more. You're going to appreciate people way more, especially those who come into your life and decide to add to it and uh, make everything that you're going through uh, a much better place. If your age is between like 18 to 24 and you have like that uh, calling in your mind, like, hey, like I gotta leave my hometown. This is where I feel like I need to be. I promise you, most likely this is your sign to leave home, go to that one place that's been calling your name, give it a try. The worst thing that could happen is that it doesn't work out and you could always um, move back. And if you don't have that option and it's sink or swim, well, you're gonna get a lot further than, than I am, that's for sure, and I applaud you. So, uh, that's all I really have for you guys today in this video. This, these are some of the things that I've gone through and some some of the things I've learned moving out when I was 19 years old. So if you're getting that calling again, I really hope you take that risk because I feel like the biggest risk in life is not taking any. So I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.